early boys. What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. This is the loudest thing in the world so I might take it off but this took too long to make. I have put sleeves on it and everything. I mean, today I'm going to talk about the new Supreme North Face collaboration aka the Tin Foil Collection, hence why I did this. Looking back it's kind of a bit of, why did I do this? <laughs> How am I going to get this off? I'm not too sure really. I think I have to go this way. I didn't rip it either, I did. Want to sell Supreme North Face Spring Summer 18. 9 out of 10 slightly worn. Anyway, I'm a massive loser, so yeah, let's get into the video because I think the new Supreme North Face collab is... How do I put it? It's pretty bad. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit and just give you my opinion because to be honest, it's pretty crap. So I did actually have another video planned for this, but this came up and I was like, oh my God, I gotta do that. And then I decided to make a tin foil jacket. Yeah. So when this club came out, I saw the first photo of the model and I thought, what the hell is this? It, it, it's just something wrong with it. I don't really know. The collab just isn't... I feel like with Supreme North Face, I like the creative ideas they have with the brand and the collaboration between the two. However, I just think that they're kind of lazy at times and they're not really pushing any boundaries. I think the best jacket, without a doubt, is going to be the orange one from like two seasons ago. But since then, they haven't really made anything that's been like, Wow. And of course, the North Face collab is the most hype piece and the most hype drop of every season. I'm not going to go for it this year. Well, I am because of resale. But I, I haven't... I don't know. There's just something about the Supreme North Face that doesn't appeal to me. It just doesn't work sometimes. And when it does work, it works. I mean, it's excellent. I remember the denim stuff that I did. That was really cool. I remember the orange and leaf stuff and the snow stuff. And I did loads of collabs. They do loads of different designs each season. However, this year, I'm particularly confused and a bit annoyed because I feel like I could have done a lot better, but it's just so bad. I mean, I can't even describe. Let's just get into the first piece and let's just talk about it. So the first pieces are these mountain parkers. Now they like to do the mountain parker quite a lot. The only time I think they've actually done a decent mountain parker is the maps collection that they did. I love that. That was probably my favorite piece ever, but since then they haven't done anything good. So we've got a gold one, we've got a silver one, and we've got a rose gold one. Just like the iPhone 6, you know, just no creativity, just gone. It looks like you're wearing tin, the, the silver one alone looks like you're wearing tin foil. Hence why I made that. I mean, look at, look at this and look at this. It, it's exactly the same color. I'm being serious. It's exactly the same color. All creativity has been lost and it's a shame. And I mean, I didn't even think that was rose gold. I thought it was bronze. I mean, it's just, there's just so much wrong with it. The colours they've chosen and the metallics, they've just, it looks very, very cheap. And I just know what it's going to feel like and the fabric's going to feel weird. And I just really, it's going to be like crinkle material. And I really don't think it's a good collab. The colours are horrendous, but the jacket itself is nice. It's a nice piece, but the colourway is horrible. Do not buy it, please. Then I found out about these. And they've done exactly the same colourways, but they've done dungarees. Still even worse. And I don't know how they could top it, but they've made it even worse. And I mean, there was a bit, a bit of controversy on Instagram earlier, actually. Um, ASAP Nas started calling them out, like, oh, I've, I've sent you these designs and stuff. And to be honest, the designs he's shown, they've pretty much copied. Yeah, I mean, this is them here, and this is the Supreme Club that they've done right now. So you can tell it's been copied quite a bit. And it's a shame because I don't really like them and I think they're terrible. It's just very lazy what they've done. They've just made dungarees and put that on. They haven't really thought about it. They haven't done the colorways. They haven't thought about it. It just looks very, very cheap. These are going to be very, very expensive, as you know. On the like straps on the dungarees, they've got the North Face and Supreme, which just logo branding to heaven. And I mean, the dungarees, you literally have like a Supreme box logo in your chest and a North Face logo. You couldn't ask for more if you're a, you're a hype beast. I mean, there's going to be so many photos of that. It's crazy. Moving on to the actual like pieces rather than the jackets and the dungarees, they've done a hoodie, which is just like a basic logo hoodie with the North Face logo in metallic and then the Supreme logo in metallic. Again, creativity out the window. I could make that in five minutes on Photoshop. You literally just add the North Face logo, add the Supreme logo underneath it, and then put a metallic gradient overlay over the top and you're done. I mean, it's just very, very lazy again. And they've just done exactly the same for the t-shirts. It's so bad. It's, it's so bad. It's just so bad. As for the hats, again, they've done with the same colorways and the silver one's acceptable, kind of reminds me of the Marty McFly hat from Back to the Future 2. But again, it, the colorways are just terrible and you know the material's gonna be terrible. And I can't stress this enough, but it's a terrible, terrible collection. Backpacks, obviously done the same thing. They do the same thing every year. Again, terrible, the colors are... I, what, the colors are whatever they are. The funny pack is the only thing I like. The only thing that I can kind of get. And that is the silver one. The other colorways are terrible, but the silver one looks like the 3M one they did a few years ago, which I kind of like that bag, it looks cool. Um, but that's the only one that's acceptable, I guess, out of this entire collab. And finally, the last piece are the sold side bags, the shoulder bags. <sighs> I guess it's gonna be expensive because it's gonna be North Face and you're gonna have that North Face quality, but it's just a horrible design again. And I just think it's just a terrible, terrible collaboration. I mean, I could sit here and talk to you about 
how good it, it could be, um, but I just can't think of anything to improve it because it's so bad. It's honestly the worst thing I've ever seen, and I think that the creativity that went through them, uh, the mind of it, uh, just didn't work. And it's a shame because there was so much potential every season with it, and I feel like they're just getting worse and worse every season. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. That has been the worst collaboration of all time, and I'll see you later. <laughs>